I know Adam's like answering phones, but he's also he's got Justin Fields on Twitter alerts on uh, on his phone because they've been going off all day this morning. Justin Fields three for three with three touchdowns and a rushing touchdown in red zone drills. Uh, Adam Hodge says there's no doubt the best quarterback on the field today in Bears camp was Justin Fields. Only incompletion was a drop in the back corner of the end zone on a good ball. All of Fields' talents were on display. Jeff Dickerson, who covers the Bears for ESPN, Fields was on fire during a deep red zone period versus the Dolphins. I mean, what are we waiting for in Chicago? I could talk about this all day, like Justin Fields just lighting it up. Why should Andy Dalton be the week one starter? What's the thought process there? Walk me through it. I From the Chicago Bears, they... I've got this choice right now in front of me for week one. Here in Los Angeles, a nine iron from the Rich Eisen Show Studios against the Rams. Aaron Donald, one of the best players in football. On the Chicago Bears week one, why am I starting Andy Dalton? For what reason? Intention is a huge thing in life. We get it back to that three wood that you've been hitting pretty well out on the golf course. What's the intention behind it when you're hitting it from 260 out? It's not to get to the green. Otherwise, you'd be doing that for a living and not this. It's to get it as close to the green as possible to set up your next shot. You could spray it. You could top it. You could hit it fat. You could put it in the woods. Hit a seven iron to 30, 40 yards out. You're right there. So what's the intention behind it? What's the intention of starting Andy Dalton? Why would you do that? The point of you play to win the game, right? Coach Herm Edwards, you play to win the game. And with the Packers, I think, taking a step back this year, that division, wide open. NFC North, you don't know what you're going to get from Jared Goff out in Detroit. Minnesota, I don't believe in Kirk Cousins. And the Bears, I got a real shot to get back in the playoffs here. So why would you play Andy Dalton? I, seriously, I mean, crickets from the peanut gallery here. Yeah, why would I mean, you do that? Did they give him $10 million bucks or something? I, I don't know. Are you financially committed to him? I know Nick Foles has a bunch of, of guaranteed money, but he's your third stringer. You use draft capital to trade up and get this kid. Let him loose. Rock and roll. In the words of Salema Masekela, who graced us with his presence on this show yesterday, do they have a deep allergy to greatness? <laughs> yes. Justin Fields. Deep allergy to greatness. Has greatness within him. You can see that. You can feel it. Andy Dalton. Now we're going to go that route. We're really hoping to get a 9-8 and eight season under our belt. What's the best case scenario for Andy Dalton? He goes out there, lights it up, 300 yards, three touchdowns week <laughs> one in SoFi against the Rams. It's not going to happen. That's not, you know. not going to happen. I mean, it's unlikely. You say, will that happen or the field is not happening? I mean, you take the no, field. I'll say that's not going to happen. Andy Dalton will not throw for 300 <laughs> yards in week one. I'll go on wax with that. Okay. We can tag at cold takes or whoever. Get the followers Freezing, up. freezing yeah, cold freezing. takes. Freezing cold takes. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.